Hey guys, Portia here. Today I will be sublimating on something I have not sublimated on before. I just recently received a sublimation subscription box and in there was a set of poker chips. So I thought that was pretty dope. Never thought about sublimating my own personal poker chips because one, I don't play. And then two, I don't know anyone who does play. So in that video, I had talked about, wow, what am I gonna do with these? But a couple of you lovely ladies did make a suggestion. So we have one suggestion from, and forgive me if I mess up your name, C. Levesque, and she recommended we do challenge chips, which I thought that was pretty dope. So I was definitely gonna roll with that. And then Gift Diva came through and said, how about love chips? Valentine's Day is coming up and love chips will be a great idea. So there are a lot of chips in this roll, which is pretty dope, especially for a subscription box. Um, I am today, I'm going to work on a design for three of the chips and I'll probably say the rest for my husband and I. That's personal, y'all. But anywho, let's go ahead and jump right in with the All right, design. so today I am using Canva Pro and we are going to hit create a design. I wanna do custom size, change this to inches, and we're gonna do 11 by eight and a half, and we're gonna say create new design. So this is going to be a Valentine's Day theme, but I wanna do three separate designs, and it's gonna base, be based on one will be sweet, one will be sentimental, and the last one will be sexy. So let's go ahead and start off with the sweet one. And the first thing I wanna do is go into elements, and I wanna type in circle, uh, circle frame. And there is a frame that I like right here. I like the thickness of it because the chip itself is an inch and a half. And so we're gonna go ahead and size this down. And this gives me enough room to play with just in case um, I made this, let's just say too big. There's still enough for the circle here to cover our surface. So yeah, we're good there. And I wanna go ahead and change this color to red. And then let's go ahead and add some text. And this is gonna be really simple. All right, you're the reason I smile. And I want to close the gap between some of these, well, between all of the lines there. And we are going to highlight this because I need to change the font. And the name of the font we're gonna use is called Ocean Sunshine. And we're gonna size this down to fit properly in our inch and a half circle. All right, and then I wanna skew that just a little bit. All right, bam, there we go. So we do have to do the opposite side. I don't wanna leave that blank, so I'm gonna duplicate our circle. And on the opposite side, we are just gonna go back into elements, and I just want it to be a little heart that goes there. So I wanna type in heart, love sign. And of course you can see there are quite a bit to choose from, but I like this one cause it kind of goes with that brushed circle thing, um, almost like squib scribbly, scribbly, <laughs> a scribbly line there. All right, cool. So that first one is all done. That is our sweet themed poker chip or love chip. All right, so let's go back into the elements and I wanna start working on the sentimental design and what we are Art going frame. to start. And now in here, so this isn't the frame I want. I want the magic recommendation, so I'm gonna delete that one. And if I scroll down just a little bit, this is the heart that I want. And again, we're gonna size this down to the one and a half. So it's 1.4 by one and a half. That is definitely good enough. And then we have to add in some text, which I mentioned this is going to be like a sentimental theme. And I have my little sticky note here. So the font that I want to use here is called Almond. Here we go, Almond, Almond Caramel. And I feel like that is legible, but it is not, um, it's still cute. That's one of the things, I want it to be cute, but I also want it to be legible. And let's adjust this line spacing just a little bit. What doesn't it like about Hope? Oh well, 
always hopes. Okay, and delete that. All right, and so we of course have to make it fit. So let's open this up just a little bit. And I like to skew it. And I want our circle here to be red. I think that will look pretty good. All right. Got a little bit room, a room to play with our words here. All right, so let's work on the back. I'm gonna duplicate this circle. And I wanna add text. So let's go here. And I just want it to be our names. Each word can get its own line. And the font that I liked with this one is called Bell Love. Let me see, here we go. Bell Love. I just like the, um, the lines. It creates um, something like visually interesting. And that's, close that up just a little bit. All right, that's cool. And then one more thing that I want to add, I think I'm gonna reverse this though, guys. I wanna make this red and this black. There we go. I like the way that looks. And just make it a little bit smaller. What I wanna add to this is Roman numerals. And I have that down here. And it's just our anniversary date. Let's say paste. And that is not that legible, so let's change this to a real simple font. Okay, that works. And it's pretty bold too. So one more thing I wanna do is add an effect to this, and I wanna curve it. Make it red. And perhaps just a bit smaller. All right, I think that's cool right there. So let's go ahead and move on to our very last one. And I'm gonna come out a little bit. So this is the one that's gonna be sexy. So you can totally use all the chips to kind of create a game uh, for you and your husband, your boyfriend, girlfriend. All right, so let's go ahead and go back into Elements. And this time I want to use the picture frame. And again, let's size this down to the 1.5. And within the frame, we're still staying in elements. I wanna search scattered. And I want to fill the frame with these hearts. I think that's kinda of cute. And then let's go ahead and add in some text. And the name of this text that I wanna use, let's see, do I still have it here? I do not. It is rage italic. And the word that, or words we're gonna use is just gonna say strip. And then the second word, tease. All right, and I'll slide this over one more time. Let's go ahead and move these letters a bit closer. And then we're gonna make this smaller to fit right. All right, cool. And now we're gonna highlight this one more time and I'm gonna go to effects and I wanna add in a shadow just so that it pops off of that red just a little bit better. And I think I'm gonna move this all the way over. Okay, cool, so now we can read this a little bit more. And let's duplicate our circle. And on the back side of the circle, I just wanna fill it with color. I wanna make that black. Let's go on over to elements. And I wanna search, did I search kiss or lips? I think I searched kiss. Let's see. All right, cool. It's the very first one, and I wanna use this kiss right here. So guys, lips can be, get so weird because it looks it can look funny. Let me see what this one looks like. If we change it to red, does it actually look like a lipstick kiss? It does, but I actually like this one better, so let's just roll with that one. It can look, sometimes a lip kiss looks a bit icky to me. I'm just saying. 
All right guys, so here we have our three different designs. Like I said, sweet, sentimental, and then sexy. And like I said, you can go ahead and create a game out of all of these uh, two-sided coins with various sayings on it. You know, just go out with it, have fun, whatever you guys like to do. So here's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna go ahead and get these all printed out. So I'm gonna save this as a PDF or rather I'm going to download it as a PDF and then I'm going to go ahead and print it out and then when I come back we'll be ready to sublimate our three coins front and back. Alright guys so we are going to do two separate presses. I'm going to cut this and then we're going to do one side and then we are going to cool flip and then do the other side. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so I am going to put my, you know, sheet here to protect against any bleed. I guess that really don't matter in this case. I don't know. Anywho, we are going to do 356 degrees for 120. Alright, so that looks pretty good because you can see the design popping through quite well. Now, these are made out of ceramic plastic composite, so I'm quite sure this is like hot, hot. So um, per the manufacturer, you're definitely going to want to let one side completely cool before we move on to the other side. So what I see, look at that y'all, I didn't already messed up. I should have put paper down, but you know what, we're going to roll with it and it is going to be alright. So I'm going to let this cool and then um, I'll do the other side and then we'll take a look at both sides together. all right we are done <laughs> guys these were really easy to do and it was actually quite fun so this was of course our original side but i guess it's a coin now right or our chip so there really is no front or back we could do heads or tails you know give it to someone special to carry around with them so when they take a peek at it they know you're thinking about them and stuff how sweet I love the black, the color saturation on here. I definitely could have made this particular circle a bit bigger so that we could have gotten, you know, full coverage. But, you know, that's okay. First try. Um, love this side. So, yeah, sexy game with your partner would be awesome. And then we got our love is. So, the words are nice and clear. I can read them. My eyes are old, y'all. So, I have to have a fight that I could see. The other side. Now I will say I did pick a font with like some lines in it and all that other stuff. Really can't see all of that. But you can read our names and you can see our anniversary date quite well. So no complaints from me there. Um, I have a whole lot more. I was about to say tokens or chips left. So yeah, I think this would be really fun to create a game for my husband and I. But, um, or a lot more to practice on. Um, you could actually give them to the kids going away for college. You could put nearly anything on these and pass them out as like thinking of you tokens. So yeah, guys, this is all I have for you today. I just wanted to share with you my love chips. If you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. If you found this video helpful, can you go ahead and give me a thumbs up? But as always, guys, until next time, peace.